Hey, boy. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Sir? This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle? Oh, Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. Let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Those here really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. But more for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. 
They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and pack. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've, I've. There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, and before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Go to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> the mine's in one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite... This place is imaginable, eh? 
Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Why? Let's get on with this. One who was dawdling. Okay. Hold up in here till it gets dark. How are you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. Oh, burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. One, you douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. for here.
that should do it. It is a quick dousing as well. I'll give you four dollars. Go on then. All right, let's light this barn up. Woohoo! Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here. Well, hold this one up. You get those kids properly gone. It's all. 
lot of them. Oh, Arthur. Glad you're having fun. Got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. Yeah. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. You did good with that graze business. Like I told you, I was born, born in down manor houses. Let's just hope it was all worth the trouble.
Arthur! Arthur! Gentlemen, mind if I warm myself a minute? You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. How about you keep your temper this time, hmm? <gasps> oh my, you are a bad person. I heard Spence the this is the slap of crime. If you get my meaning. Don't surprise me. Farewell. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> My 
my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Bank says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Okay, fella. yourself. I'm sure this attracted some attention. Can I help you? Well, it looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. 
Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. you're helping everybody and there's troubles everywhere bandits attacked my fields and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side.